Good morning, welcome to another um, vlog. It's Wednesday today. Um, yeah, again, I've forgotten what date it is. 10th, 10th. Okay, um, I've got to shoot out quickly because it's um, prevailing chaos. Um, postman, I've told them and I've put my note on there that the bell, the intercom doesn't work, but they still keep using it. Um, so I've got three parcels to pick up. Most of it will be my eBay packaging, I think, but it, I don't know. So I'll take my trundling trolley in the snow. Well, it's more like ice. We've only got ice in Manchester, so it's a bit of a death ring. Um, I went to, I've been out this morning onto the balcony to sort out the, the bird uh, water <laughs> for the wild birds and ended up breaking the plastic container that it was in before the ice, <laughs> it's that cold. But anyway, um, I'll just show you the two things that I've sold. I did have two things that sold yesterday. Let's just wait for the dump truck to go by. Um, got another road closure here. Um, yeah, apparently this place, um, it, they close at 11, so I've got to be pretty sharpish. So I've just got to pack these two things up. So I'll just show you what I've sold. Um, as far as the listing is going, I haven't exactly met the 20 a day. I did 10 on Monday and I did six yesterday, but I have cleaned. So I'll show you what I've sold and um, crack on with everything because otherwise things will be too late. And I'm having problems with my phone as well, which I've just noticed. Um, it's not charging properly and other things, which is annoying because I'm like, I record these things on. And for some reason, since the last update, my charge cable, which is the genuine one, which came with it, it doesn't recognise it as genuine. So trying to upload my videos, because I edit them a bit on my laptop, but trying to get them on there is like pulling teeth at the moment. And that, and I've noticed that I've got screen burn from games I play, so... I've deleted a whole load of games. Right, this is um, where I've got to, and hopefully you'll see that I have cleaned. So this is the apartment. So <laughs> I hope it I hope it does look like I've actually done something because I've had a good clean up um and hoovered. Those are the things I'm gonna photograph and, and check today because I still haven't done those Wii games, which is ridiculous. Um, and these are the things that I've sold. Um, the Lego, I've only, I've sort of packed it away, but in quite a cursory way. So this I have got £30 for, and I think I only would have paid a pound. And I have declared these, that the box was ripped and repaired. So I hope they're going to be okay about that. But this is the 1965 version, so this one's quite rare. And then, so yeah, so £20 for that. Uh, thirty pounds, twenty nine ninety nine. I got, which is about the ceiling price, I think, for that. And then the other thing that I've sold is this, which I let this go for fifteen. So I'm just going to quickly pack these up and shoot out and get these parcels that are being held hostage. Uh, um, I don't know. Maybe n write another note to the postman explaining that intercoms when they're broken, um, are broken. I'd just like my postman to actually come to my door rather than throwing things in the hallway. This box that I've used is one of the free stash boxes. So this has come from Sainsbury's and they always have these because these are their bags. Um, and they're great for board games. Um, it is longer than small parcels though, but so's the Cluedo, so it doesn't matter with this because it's going to have to go medium parcels anyway. Yeah, so these are the bits that I'm going to photograph today. Uh, you see, this is this is the stuff which I might well have binned. Which, this all came with the first job lot of Lego. So this is a Power Ranger thing. I think that's his sword. Um, which I didn't even realise that it had this random head thing. Which I can't think how to do it now. Oh, I don't know. I did, I did, my husband showed me how to do it. No, I can't work out how to do it. Uh, uh. 
it's one of these things where you actually do need two hands but it's got a head in it and it comes out <laughs> and it flips heads uh, so this is worth 10 to 15 pounds um this is a you usually gone you well i don't know one of the pokemon other things um and that's worth 10 to 15 pounds those i'll get a five or four those are robot wars things um this will pull back what you call it this is from vintage screwball scramble i don't know what the monkey swinging things were i couldn't find them so i'm not putting them on um but i'll get a fiver for that and then this i Google imaged it and it didn't come up and then my well, the husband did it on his phone and it came straight up with it. This is uh, from Walker's Crisps, um, Monster Munch. It's actually like some kind of clip thing. So I should be able to get £5 for that. So there you are. A good uh, £30 to £40 pounds worth of stuff which I nearly put in the bin. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so, right, I'm going to test them today. I'm going to put these hats on. And then uh, my husband has now done his clearing out. I've listed them and he's decided that, well, this is too big for him. Um, this is just a Primark winter, uh, Game of Thrones t jumper, but he's not 2XL anymore. Not since we got COVID. The weight's just dropped off us. So you see, you know, you never hear the good things about having COVID. And then I've got all those books photographed ready to go on. And that Lego is the last bit that's going on, which I've already listed those bits. So these are all photographed ready to go. And then her, she's ready to go. So I've got plenty to do when I come in and then photograph some more. So I'm just going to go and throw this in the post and get my hostage parcels. Right, I'm back from the post office. I've been back for ages. I've been faffing around and... Um, yeah, wasting time. Wasting time. So this is the storeroom and it's looking terrible again. Um, I've just taken some of the Lego out um, because um, the quest I'm on now involves... I'm going to do... I'm going to list the books, which is why I've take, I've sort of moved everything and I've just opened this box up. So I'm going to literally... I'm going to list the books now uh, because it's looking pretty... I, I'm just not focused and if I just I just need to like focus on one thing and I think that's that's it I keep dipping in and out of things and that's my problem um so <laughs> dipping in and out of things isn't helping me get things listed very quickly so I'll show you um I'll show you what I picked up from the postie so it is starting to look messy again in here because I've brought them back but that it I have got to start sorting through that um so this is one of the things uh, I've got my eBay packaging which I have just put away in there but I got this set for about £10.50 probably not even that um this is one of the first times that people have actually like packed things up nicely I don't really do lego friends but this seemed worth it um I've seen people doing a doctored version of this um, where well, they send this beige and they turn it into the breaking bad <laughs> van so I could technically do that where I put beige instead of the thingy <laughs> on it <laughs> turn it into the breaking bad thing and then you just find some of the minifigures that have got like glasses on and things um, but probably might not do that because it's <laughs> it's not legit lego so I think these are like they're the ten pound ones. Ten for that. Ten for that. Ten for that. This is optimistic. I'm waiting for the price, and then probably like five pounds for them. But it's it's doubling my money, and I put a note for the postie, and he's actually just knocked. He's actually just rang an intercom that actually works. So we have two intercoms. One which gets affected by the weather, and then the other one which doesn't because it's part of the building. So. This is what they've had. Now, I knew that this was going to be, I knew it was a mix of mega blocks. So I'm probably going to be going through this and putting my mega blocks thing on. But this, there's, there's parts in here. I paid £10 for this. There's parts in here which I can use to make job lots. This is genuine Lego. But then there is a lot of, I mean, I don't, I think that is Lego. It looks very Lego-like. I, I have never had 
um, Ninja Turtles. Or Hero Turtles, as we were brought up on. So this is definitely Mega Blocks. But I'm not a fan of Mega Blocks, so that's Lego. And not that's Lego that I can use for my job lots. Um, I'm not sure if it's World of Warcraft. I can't see the figure now. Right, here we are. Uh, so it's got this figure in it. Just at a, at a glance. I mean, it doesn't feel like this needs washing, so I probably can get this out and sort it today without having to mess around. Um, but I've I bought some uh, Lego horses. Sorry, I bought some Lego horses the other day, and um, they came with three figures like that as well. So I suspect that I've got a decent amount of World of Warcraft Mega Blocks. It should be fairly easy to sell um, because people are more likely to go for things like World of Warcraft. But I would think that that is what it is. Yeah, it's very random. Um, not something that I want to get into. But there are plenty of Lego bits in here and there is a, a coffin which I thought I could put with my other set. So that's definitely a Lego, but that's for that's for the sort of sets that I do. But you know, that's neither here nor there, is it? Um, definitely something that I can make money on, which is why I bought it. So, yeah, um, I'm going to concentrate on listing what I've got because the stuff that I've photographed, I just need to do and get it out of the way um, so I can delete my phone um, memory and not snarl it up and obviously get those bits done so i may well be putting this aside and not getting distracted because that's the trouble is i keep getting distracted with sorting lego rather than listing it um <laughs> and i've only done one listing um which was these two books so i've just made templates for all of them so there's there's a good 15 there so i've just put them on and yeah i've done my list i put it on at 16 quid but i mean this is crazy this is what people are asking for. And I know it's in the US where they're a bit, you know, nuts with these type of things. But really? 100? 60? Even that's not feasible because they're not selling for that. They're selling for a fiver, if they sell at all. So I've put mine on for 15 99 with free posts for the both of them. So I'll just crack on with that. So, yeah, I'm going to get my, get my stuff done and do some listing and then move and then move on um, rather than getting distracted. It gets worse checking the prices um, for these things. Right, so this, I'm, I'm just gonna throw mine on at 5.99. But look, somebody else is going to, is trying for 894 pounds. And that's just a basic book. Or you can have a signed version. Where is it, where is it? It's not bringing it up properly. A signed version for six fifty. Ay ay ay. What's wrong with people? Morning again. Um, uh, yeah, it is another morning. It is um, Thursday, February eleventh today. Um, I did manage to list twenty one items yesterday, which still isn't really where I wanted to be. Um, I said twenty a day, twenty a day, but um, <laughs> I didn't really achieve that on Monday or Tuesday. Um, Tuesday I forgave myself because I did a big clean up um, but there you go and I'm not really very motivated today because it's half ten um, and I've been catting around after the morning not on anything specific just feeling really unmotivated um, hence why I was doing this lockdown vlog just to try and be a bit more motivated um, I don't know um, because I've been having issues with my phone I've I've even deleted a lot of like the social media things which are distractions <laughs> so I should really be focused I've like got rid of TikTok um, and we even got rid of Netflix three weeks ago because I just think it's a waste of money we just weren't watching anything we have Amazon Prime um, so Amazon videos and um, I'll show you what I've sold well what's what's paid for um, which bizarrely I've had this beautiful dress uh, since last year. 
It is just a Marks and Spencers one, but it's very floaty and very summery and sleeveless and kind of chiffon, but um, it isn't silk. And it's only Marks and Spencers, and I've got £20 for that. And then this is um, one of these trial and error things from 2019 when I was wondering whether it was going to work doing resellers. So this is Monsoon, and it is actually quite a nice little top, but um, never sold. Uh, probably because I modelled this one and oh it is a UK 18 but it certainly made me look fat <laughs> so yeah it doesn't say much about me um this one feels very silky but I don't think it is no it's polyester but it's very um good looking polyester so I think I accepted £3.50 for that because it was on auction and I want to just get rid of stuff um because it's it's worth getting rid of stuff. Um, and then the other things that I've sold are Lego. Um, this morning I have sold this one, which was, the, this is all from that big job lot that I've sold. I'm waiting for payment on another thing, um, which is actually the um, pirate ship. Um, so I've accepted 35 pounds for that because it was, £40 was about the area that I would have got unboxed, but with instructions, but with pieces missing. That was about the ceiling for pieces missing in complete sets. Um, and mine was missing a cannon, so I thought, well, that's quite a major piece. So I accepted 35 um, but it was one of these night purchases. So I often suspect that those people are drunk and don't know what's going on. I was offered 30 as well, so there has been a lot of interest in it. So if they don't pay, it'll sell again really quickly. It's not like it was like I listed it on one of these offer things. So waiting for payment on that. I haven't been, I'm, I don't know, I'm going to delay going to the post office, I think, because um, the postee might come with some more job lots of Lego. Uh, so also out of that job lot was this um, Red Indians one with the canoe and the, the figures so I this is this is incomplete and I've got 20 pounds for that which is more than I I think I sold the last one for 17.99 and that had the instructions with it so I'm quite surprised to have got that and then this is a box of um, Lego which I may well put into a non um, alcohol based reusable box but it's all of this which is a set um it's the 4107 so this this again comes from that five pound lot <laughs> so if i get that 35 pound payment and then i've got 15 for this i've already had another thing so i'm already at around the 70 pound uh, return on that so all of that Lego is um, is going for uh, 15 pounds which I know probably doesn't seem like much but it I, I just designated it as per what the set was um, and when you start asking 20 it just it it hangs around for a bit longer so I don't know I'd, one of my reasons for doing the Lego is because it keeps things interesting I know I've, I've noticed there was a lot of people moaning this morning on uh, the Moaning Myrtle group on Facebook, the resellers. <sighs> yeah, they're supposed to be about mental health, but the amount of slagging off that they do of other people, I just, it just doesn't sit right with me. You know, they were moaning because people were like boasting on their YouTube channels about getting £5 profit. But as far as you know, I'm I'm never I'm not I'm not part of the hustle hard set. I'm doing this because I do have health problems and um, I'm trying to get myself, you know, money in working from home. And at the moment, clothes aren't selling for me. I just I've started doing the Lego because it sells faster. <laughs> um, it is fun, but it is time consuming putting it together. But you know. 
when people are like criticizing other people i just think you know it, there's certain groups where i know that they're going to criticize but when they do it on the mental health one it just really bugs me and there was something last week where they were slagging somebody else off who also has a youtube channel and you just think come on really i mean it, it must be based in some form of like jealousy or bullying definitely bullying but anyway that's by the by so that's what i've sold today i think i'm doing quite well on that job lot that i got for a fiver um and you know yeah some of the things there is only like going to be five pound profit there probably is only five pound profit in there but it's all surplus lego that was in with other stuff which i had um <laughs> so it's not costing me anything and it's going to irritate me if it's like piled up so i'm going to be making some more sets up today because i have another job lot which i've sorted out on uh well i've that i received so i'll show you where i am with that and um hopefully by the time it gets to about midday this other person will have paid for the pirate ship so i'll be able to take all um a grand total of five things to the post office you know everybody starts somewhere it just so happens that some of us start doing youtube before we've hit the success um you know the high levels of success and i don't think there's anything wrong with that certain people want to see people like me who aren't making massive amount of money that are paying the bills okay so i'll show you what i am working on today this is the job lot which I've just um, sorted through, um, just piled it up. I, um, I was going to wash it but it's not that dirty so I haven't bothered so I haven't done anything with those yet. Um, the issue that I have with this is that this is all the genuine Lego, cha -ching. Um, as standard there's always a Playmobil figure um, so I'm just going to chuck that in with the auction which I've got running at the moment. Um, I've got these guys and you know there's another pirate set which does go with that but all of this I'm just going to sell as parts I was after it because it had this coffin but it is very much vampire based so it's no good for that um, set that I'm looking but I've got stuff there that I can make um, some more of these little job lots starter sets and all of this is mega blocks i knew it had mega blocks in it uh well i paid less than a tenner including the postage for this so it's no it's no big issue um i did also buy these horses i paid uh, five pounds for these so i know that these it's got three horses with it this was a separate listing so i've got three of these horses uh, i've got uh, some other um sets that I'm completing uh, castle sets so that's why I needed the horses and it also had these in which thankfully I've now worked out that these are mega blocks uh, I thought it might be World of Warcraft but I don't think it is there's Halo as well uh, but this job lot had a load of these with it so it doesn't look so weird um putting all this together and i've got a big box of um non-branded lego which i'm just going to photograph today and put on an auction maybe have it end on saturday night because it seems to be when people are happy to bid i can't th no see so some of this stuff it's just it's not even any good it's like sometimes i think oh maybe these are lego pieces and i've made a mistake but then they bend so yeah this is so it's not it's just not it's not got any resale value really this i'll probably end up getting a fiver for it but these things these are what i'll be like listing as spare parts so i'm gonna i'm gonna head i'm gonna start doing these today so probably take that skull off I'm going to put all of these castle bits together because these are the more newer castle bits um but they'll easily sell and this is this is um castle believe it or not i thought it was like robot or something um but it isn't so i'm going to group all that
together these legs and I did I looked up the foot this morning to see if it sold for a decent price on its own but some of these things which just that little bit bigger than um, large letter it's worth making a little bundle for it but it's like somebody had one of these for sale for two pounds 95 but it's bigger than large letter so even if you're sending it second class i just don't see how you're making your money <laughs> i'm doing it that way i'll probably keep those back for other sets and yeah these bits will be my job lots and then obviously i've got all these guys which i probably should look up um it's hard to tell sometimes whether these are lego or not i hate these odd looking figures so i need to work out if these are lego but obviously these are what's this this should be easy to place but there's no there are no complete sets with any of this so this is all parts so i'm going to work through it today get some of these on and put away otherwise i'm going to end up with loads of lego sat here over the weekend which is not something that i'm interested in at all right still faffing around um it's just gone one o'clock um i've this pirate ship hasn't been sold but I've made this sale, which although it's gone and more, which is quite a good cricket company. I've only got 20 quid for that, but it's a massive jumper, so it's gone. And then I did list all my books yesterday, so I've sold this one for a fiver, which may be a little bit less than it's actually worth because it is a vintage one, but it's not quite, it's not that great. And I paid 20p. <laughs> Um, and posty has been so I've got more Lego coming so I'm going to just do the rest of my parcels which are here yes I've still got bits here I have done the Wii games and I did also yesterday I've stopped taking all this except for the ties um, and just relisted and just checked some of the prices on it because some of this stuff like faulty towers the prices had spiked at the time when I checked it because of all the implications of racism <laughs> in regards to box sets. Um, I still haven't put them away, even though I had all the things out this morning and I still haven't listed that and I've still got bits there. Um, I have listed things this morning. I've listed two job lots, which isn't enough. Uh, so I'm going to quickly go and post all this and then come back and crack on with listing. Morning everybody, it is Friday now. Um, what is it, the 12th? I think, yeah, it's certainly not Friday the 13th. Um, I'm, um, it's 10 a.m. and I've, I've already packed my post and I am actually, I'm gonna go for a walk because I feel it, I feel horrible. <laughs> um, I've heard that they do some nice stuff at Aldi. And so I'm gonna do a two mile walk. It's like a mile there, a mile back thing just over to uh, Oxford Road. Um, yeah, I just feel terrible. And I know it's, I just feel like <laughs> my legs are like jelly because I haven't been exercising because I usually walk quite a lot sourcing. Um, there's just no reason to achieve at the moment. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, I've actually sold absolutely loads, absolutely loads. Apparently I did 120 pounds yesterday at one point it was saying 170 though so i don't think eBay know what the, what the total or not um but i've done seven parcels this morning so i'm going to take them over so i've got the trolley loaded up and then i'm going to hopefully load that up with valentine's themed food so we can actually have a nice weekend um and not that's why i've cleared all the lego so the room looks quite normal ish so I've got some Lego sort of left there, but I'm going to just hurl that in the other room. Although it's a right mess in there. Um, right, so I have all of this parceled up. It's got the pirate ship in the bottom, which is why it looks like this. That's why I've filled the whole thing. But most of it, I mean, it's like that. That's a hat that I 
listed yesterday and then a lot of it is just stuff that I've listed this week so it, it is paying off doing a daily listing even though I'm not meeting the targets that I wanted to do so I'm when I get back I'm going to list that little Lego set so the, the intention is this is I think it's like 100 bricks or 120 I think I don't know where are we so that's a hundred that's a hundred yeah so 120 so the intention is I'm gonna put that on I'll put it on a backing board and sort of pack it up pack it all up like that so these are just small bricks and then it goes large letter so I only charge like 9.99 for that inclusive of the post so and obviously you get these bricks all the time when I'm buying these job lots. And then I'm just going to go through that. My, a, a number of that is, is listed bits. Um, the Lego that I am supposed to be listing is there. And then I've got these little bits here which I just want to photograph. That one, I need to do some photographs on a beige background rather than a white background, which is what I had it on. And then these are just like sundry bits which I keep falling over. That's what I'm doing. I'm just tackling these little pockets of annoyances which are hanging around so that's what i'm doing um yeah so I've, I've already sold three things this morning which i've already packed up so that's the quest i'm gonna go and hopefully i'm gonna feel better and it's actually quite decent weather in a way yeah so hopefully get some nice food go to poundland um maybe pick up some sellotape and things which i'm short on Right, so that's the quest. Just back in it's uh, half past well half past 12 just gone half past 12 um i got to the audi and it was actually a little so it was really disappointing <laughs> and everybody looked like they were on the verge you know of giving up in there um and lots of people bumping into me and yeah so not got the shopping that i hoped for but i have got i keep selling books so i'm quite glad to have got these um, from Poundland, got some tape from Poundland um, and then randomly on the way back so I've done a three mile walk today um, and it's quite bracing yeah. which is nice though and then I thought I'd go via Hume High Street and I've actually got some of my hair dye <coughs> so this is the really bright pink and I tend to put this, so this purple will just be one of these shop bought box dyes. And then I tend to put this over it and it brings just an extra vibrancy to it. And yes, this was from a non-central shop. Um, it's not what you think. They have a big window and they have a display and the guy was at the door. Um, so <laughs> you have to knock on. And then I had an image of what I wanted. And I, we sort of like cracked the door and I told him what I wanted. And then I showed him an image through the door. And then he came back with it. And then he held the um, the card machine up against the glass. And I had to do that through the glass. But I've got some of my hair dye. Um, so, yeah, how much? It was £3.50 for these. Which isn't so bad. Um, I probably put, would pay more for that if I got them online. And... I'd rather go and give some business to these places that are absolutely struggling. Um, if you ever want to dye your hair and you happen to be in Hume slash Trafford, near the big Asda, um, absolutely um, fantastic shops all the way along there for weird hair colours. 
but it's always nice to have a bit of a browse but obviously I know what I wanted so I got them together and I've probably uh, given them some well needed business so now I'm gonna have a bit of a chill have some food um I mean I have got food from Lidl don't get me wrong but it's just not it's not what I was expecting if I wanted to go to an Audi, I'd either have to walk into town, you know, which would be another three miles, or go up to where Man United is in White City, and that's another three miles. Um, I don't know. I wanted to go there because I wanted to go to Poundland because there doesn't actually, there are not many Poundlands. And I wanted this size Jiffy, but I don't want like dozens and dozens of them that are going to fill my room up. I mean, that's a pack of six for a quid which is okay for the amount of things that I've got that are going to fit in that I don't want to end up with having to buy like 50 of them <laughs> just for the sake of it uh, right so we're going to do some listing after I've had a little bit to eat and I do feel better for having a walk out it was cold um, but yeah and that surge testing COVID surge that's a bit weird I think they're just trying to target certain um, people in the community, so to speak. Okay, right, cracking on now and I'll give you a little update of where I am with everything. So I must, I must, I must list 20 today, must. Okay, I'm at a point now where I'm going to stop. Um, yeah, 10 past five, 10 past five. Um, <laughs> I've only done three brand new listings, two more hats and the hula girl Lego figure which has been knocking around for ages. Um, I've been ending and relisting a lot of, I had a box out a moment ago which I've just stopped taped and just done all my neckties which had uh, mistakes in, well not mistakes, they just needed updating about brexitisdisaster.com comment adding in and post changing and then I'd ended a load of my other older Lego stuff which also needed postage costs to overseas updating and that remark putting in um it's Bell and Friday because you won't be able to see but I've got a neutral and they just said not happy not happy with the item um, I don't even know if I can be bothered. I've had several neutrals which have just dropped off and the remark that was on there said that it was good. No problems, but they'd put a neutral on and I don't know, it's not a negative so I can't be I can't be asked to like ask the person why they don't like the book that they've had. <laughs> no doubt they don't want to return it because it's one of these heavyweight books which was over two kilograms so it cost more than what they've probably paid for it just it's always a bell end always a bell end anyway this is what i'm doing i've just been through all this lego and just checked that everything's okay in there that's a build a bear thing a uh, job lot which is photographed and i'm just working through what i've got and then i'll probably stop at six so all in all not I haven't listed what I wanted to do this week because I did say I wanted to do 20 a day and I only managed 20 on Wednesday. So I did 10 on Monday, 5 on Tuesday, 21 on uh, Wednesday. Yesterday I did 6. This is brand new stuff. It's not that I haven't been tweaking other stuff and I've just done 3 today. I may well get 10 things done um, because I've got all of this. So that's 1, 2 three this is just random lego four five six seven and now something's lost i'll probably run over that with my chair and break that so got another one of them ready to go but some of this lego is not as good as it should be need to find that piece um yeah so that's where i am and i'm probably gonna stop up to six and um, hopefully you're inspired by the fact that it has upped my sales <laughs> um 
but I'm going to keep plugging on. I'm going to keep clearing away all this rubbish that's all these bits that I need to list because it's all the drags which I'm listing, which is probably why it's not so inspirational. I need to take that feedback off. Very annoying. <laughs> uh, okay, so I'll um, I'll wind this down here because this is a very long video now with all these bits and bobs. Uh, so thank you for watching and um, I'll be back with some other videos and um, please subscribe if you'd like to see more. Thank you. Goodbye.